85 days until the election. And I do want to thank Michael Hoekstra for reminding me that early voting starts a lot sooner. And one more reason I support Robert F. Kennedy Jr. for president. I'm trying to do this in under one to three minutes. I'm in my studio slash laundry room slash hallway to our bedroom and my husband is taking a shower and so I have to do this quickly because he's going to want to go to bed and he's going to come in and all this is going to come crashing down around me. So, all right. So the reason is because of what he said in Berlin in August of 2020. And tomorrow they're going to report that yes, I was here and that I spoke to maybe three to 5,000 Nazis. And I look at this crowd and I see the opposite of Nazism. I see people who love democracy, people who want open government, people who want leaders that are not gonna lie to them, people who are not leaders who will not make up arbitrary rules and regulations to orchestrate obedience of the population. We want health officials who don't have financial entanglements with the pharmaceutical industry who are working for us and not big pharma. We want officials who care about our children's health and not about pharmaceutical profits or government control. All right, you probably can't find this on YouTube because surprise, surprise, YouTube has been censoring. But if you go to BitChute, Rumble, possibly get Gab, watch it. It's only eight minutes long. It blew my mind when I saw it four years ago, and it has proven to be absolutely true what he says in this talk. I'm going to quote this directly. He says, governments love pandemics for the same reason they love war, because it gives them the ability to impose control on the populace, to create institutions and mechanisms for orchestrating and imposing obedience that they would otherwise never accept. The only thing the government needs to make people into slaves is to impose fear. Once they have us terrified, we will do anything they want. Now think about it. People were hugging each other through shower curtains. We were not seeing our elderly beloved loved ones. Some people were not letting the grandparents come see their new babies. We were not going to funerals, weddings. We agreed to stand six feet apart, miss Christmas, miss holidays, miss spending time with our loved ones. I had a kid over here at my house, a precious little teenager. She was wearing three masks and she still, because of her family, had to sit outside my house at night in the middle of a snowstorm. We had a foot of snow, about two inches of ice on top of that, and that poor child sat outside freezing to death because her family wouldn't let her come inside. I believe it was winter of 2021. She was wearing three masks. How is that anything except fear? As Robert F. Kennedy Jr. said in Berlin four years ago, the hospitals were financially incentivized to do things that were counterproductive to life. The doctors were told not to treat COVID early. When have we ever not treated a disease as early as possible? They were told you can't use this med for this sickness, even though doctors have had the leeway, the ability to always use any approved drug for anything they choose. That was another red flag that Kennedy called out. Also, I know people whose relatives were talking and they were conscious. And suddenly the relatives are told, hey, your, uh, your relative's going on a vent. Plus, later it was admitted that the PCR test could not tell the difference between COVID and flu. And all that did was jack up the number of COVID cases, COVID deaths, because everything with any COVID at all, motorcycle accident, person labeled a COVID death. That happened. My friend was on a vehicular homicide team here in my town. She told me they were testing a dead body after a motorcycle crash. And she's like, that guy didn't die of COVID. He died of a motorcycle crash. But the whole point was to ramp up fear to get us to all comply with the vaccine mandates. Kennedy warned us about this ahead of time before they were even out. And it's all come out. He was right. Hey, what's going on out there? Um, could you not listen to me? I'm embarrassed. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. It's, it's embarrassing. For, I'm just embarrassed. Give me like five seconds. Babe, you were washing dishes. Well, I have Oh, thank you. Let me. 20 year old was going to wash dishes. That's my kitchen right there. It's like right there. <laughs> washing machine over there. Laundry. This is the way we live now. Lord help me.